Hello guys, welcome to Michelinus UPSC. Today we are going to continue our Indian history, right? Ancient history. Previous in previous video I have covered till Chalcolithic age, right? Then after I have asked you to watch to continue further history with Harappan civilization, right? From here we will continue with Rig Veda, Rig Vedic period. Okay. First, what I have told you few reasons for the decline of Harappan civilization, right? First, what most of the uh, historians say is that is because of Aryans. Due to the Aryan invasion, the decline of a sudden decline of Harappan civilization has taken place. So, but there there are not uh, there are enough uh, no enough uh, evidence to prove that. But most of the historians say that the there was an invasion which has resulted in the decline of Harappans. Okay, that is the thing. Even our Bal Gangadhar Tilak comes up with a, a theory that is a, architic theory, architic reason theory. This may be a question for you because if you, you will think that what is this architic reason theory that is Aryans came from architic. This is what our Bal Gangadhar Tilak claims. Okay, okay, fine. Remember this theory and who claims that uh, these uh, Aryans came from Iran that is Max Muller his Central Asian theory okay remember, remember that thing that the main reason what historians believe is because of Aryans okay now let us begin from there okay see this is the route they have followed what we are believing in Central Asian theory okay so where is the Central Asia it is the Central Asia. From here, there is a movement of few tribes whom we call as Aryans. From there, they try to occupy these regions. First, they occupied these regions. Then after, they moved on to these things. So, at the beginning, this region is known as Sapta Sindhu. Right? Where uh, there is... What are these Sapta Sindhu rivers? That is all you know. So, this is the reason what this Asians are speaking about. So, first, they started to occupy these areas. Okay. Then after, slowly, slowly, they moved on to Gangetic Plains. Okay. That is the thing. Okay. This, this is the history starting from 1500 to 600 BC. Okay. This is the age. Even in this, that is... At the later Vedic period, emergence of Buddhism and Jainism also takes place. Okay, that is the thing. Okay, we will go on to the picture. How, what were the conditions of this Rig Vedic people? Okay, features of their these people. Okay, let us see first. See. Why they were able to completely extinct the Harappan culture? One might be their presence of state of art technology. That is chariot. That is the main reason they might have uh, completely eliminated this Harappan. Okay. This could be one edge over this Harappan. Okay. The significance of use of horse. The advent of domesticated horse. We, we already know that there was no presence of horse in IVC, right? That is Harappan culture. One can, it transferred mode of subsistence, transport and warfare. That is what it, see, the cult of this drink obviously came to India via Iran. See, with whom we are comparing this Aryans with the people who have inhabited Iran. So, we will be comparing with those peoples who have, who have been living there. So, the people in Iran used to drink a drink that is Soma. So, these are the people we claim them as Aryans. Okay. Male dominance. This is the features of Aryan culture. Male, male dominance and cremation. Even there were few uh, incidents of cremations in Harappan, but prevalence of bur burials were large. Okay. But cremation started after the advance of these Aryans. Okay, these are the features. The Harappan and pre Vedic generally buried their dead. That is what I speak. Of. Okay, next. 
okay they came what did they bring with them see there are two things in indian scriptures one is shruti shruti and other is smriti what is this shruti shruti is which is heard which is heard from gods okay usually these are these things rigveda yajurveda samaveda atharva veda okay these are shruti what are smriti these are remem these are remembered okay suppose you know right uh, teacher says something but the thing which student remembers is 50% or so let be 70% but he he gives 100% that is smriti okay in that there are lot of varieties one is vedas right after to this vedas they, there are what brahmanas these are explanations of these vedas okay what are these aranyakas aranyakas are teachings of few saints in forest okay what are these upanishads these upanishads are like philosophies okay philosophies on vedas okay uh, how to i mean they got rid of this they wanted to uh, try to pose some uh, rationality over this vedas they want to find why these uh, rituals are performed is there any way to get what most humans crave for that is moksha is there any, is any way to reach that salvation that is what this upanishads tell that is philosophies okay things and smriti in that these are things vedangas end of veda darshana that is even these are philosophies vaisheshika nyaya sankhya yoga mimamsa and vedanta okay shastras dharma shastras and all these things are and puranas okay remember this thing all these come under smriti and all these five come four come under vedas that is shruti fine next so see already i told in at the beginning of their invasion they they settled here right in sapta sindhu region after that they slowly reached this gangetic plains right that is what i have told okay these are the plains inhabited at the beginning of vedic age right and after slow, uh, after few hundreds of years they have slowly with the help of iron they have cleared the forest and entered this gangetic plains okay here only we can find janapadas and maha janapadas okay remember this how you will decide what is this rig early vedic and later vedic this is the period of rigveda later vedic period means other vedas yajur veda sama veda and atharva veda okay remember that thing next transformation from rigvedic phase to later see this is the rigveda rigvedic period okay rigvedic period and this is this is the border okay fine so even the change in years there were few changes in their society as well transformation take place first the area inhibited we have already seen that in the first vedic rigvedic phase The people inhabited the Sapta Sindhu region. That is here, right here. Then after slowly they move on to the Gangetic Valley. That is this. Okay, first one clear. Egalitarian society means everyone were equal. There was no presence of varna system. Okay, even the position of women was good because these women were able to attend the sabhas. Okay. slowly in later vedic period they were not i mean they were abandoned to reach this sabhas and, and stop and purda system even started to present okay that is the thing they were declining their position okay remember that thing okay uh, in vedic uh, rig vedic phase the gods were indra agni and soma later they were replaced by prajapati vishnu rudra so what did i say at the beginning that in rigveda there was no presence of varna but in later vedic 
देर वॉज द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ वर्ना सिस्टम ओके चतुर वर्ना सिस्टम दैट इज द रीजन देर वॉज लॉट ऑफ डिसेंट इन द पीपल बिकॉज दे वेर अनेबल टू डू वॉट दे वेर लाइक टू डू बिकॉज देर सोशल मोबाइलिटी वॉज बेस्ड ऑन वॉट देर बर्थ ओके देर बर्थ सो दे हैव स्टार्टेड टू रिसोर्ट फॉर अदर other belief system in that time there was a emergence of two religions one is buddhism another is what jainism the these two things uh, administer both the people without any discrimination whether it is a women men poor whatever may be whatever the caste he belong to whatever the varna he belongs to they were administered they get given admission into their sanghas okay that is the thing that is the uh, reason behind the emergence of buddhism and jainism why they got that much popularity at that moment okay next this is the varna system okay look at this thing how how after uh, who have created brahmins have created this varna system what did they uh, say to prove this thing what did they say is according to vedas in the body of god let it be god this is god mahut was brahmanas hands were kshatriya who have to protect the people and administer them thais were vaishyas who have to trade cultivate and feed were sudras and untouchables were who were not in the body of god were untouchables like chandelas okay in husen will tell that when a chandela when a untouchable enters the street he has to hit the floor with a stick so that he other people will not be polluted by him that is the situation of untouchable sin that period okay next game changer what is the game changer i have already told what is the thing with which they were able to establish huge empires was iron because in that they can produce weapons and you can they can produce they can create a good plow with that production will improve with that agricultural production will improve and there will be abundance in the empire to maintain armies right yeah. there will be a significant wealth that is a thing so where was there a significant presence of this iron this was present major because major uh, iron ores were present here where magadha was present that is the reason magadha's bin was very easy over other janapada this is the reason they were able to consolidate more empire compared to other because they were have, they were possessing iron next i already told later veda period has witnessed the janapadas okay janapada means foot of people okay mahajanapada means combination of this thing at the beginning there were 16 mahajanapadas this is important okay this, uh, you have to remember this thing anga magada kashi koshala vajji malla chedi vatsa kuru panchala matsa turasena asake avanti gandhara and khomboja on this if you know properly what is the position of these things you 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 should have seen that question right there, there was a question in upsc csc that buddha, buddha has visited which kingdoms they were given gandhara kamboja vajji and malla in this the answer is these two because if you look at this thing i think not kamboja that is avanti avanti he is here gandhara is here malla and vasta is here so how uh, Ga- buddha need to travel to these places which places very uh, quite uh, accessible 
these things were right so he was able to reach these things but he was not able to reach this gandhara and avanti that is the reason he was not able to reach these things okay this is how you have to uh, tick that answer see this is the position see here is avanti here is gandhara khamboja kuru panchala kosala anga bridge malla kashi magada vatsa chitiya turasena matsa asaka okay remember these things next this is the timeline of the kingdoms you have to rotate your mobiles or laptop see ha huh. first kingdom was haranyakas that is magada okay this is the magada okay first kingdom which formed after consolidating and uh, abolishing later janapadas through matrimonial and warfare okay next see after few years that is uh, after 6th century magada koshala avanti and vatsa were weighing for supremacy means they were having the lot of power okay finally magada emerged victorious and able to gain sovereignty it became the most powerful state in, in ancient india magada is situated in bihar there were where there is prominent iron ores fine next see this is the timeline how various kingdoms try to rule india okay indian subcontinent first was haranyaka okay in that bimbisara was the first king he was not the founder but he was the prominent king okay in haranyaka dynasty this was the first dynasty you have to remember the timeline okay first haranyaka then after shishunga and nanda then after nanda you will be witnessing the great empire that is mauryan empire okay in that you will be finding chandragupta maurya bindusara okay like that ashoka okay next see this is the thing the next first we will be learning about bindusara see he was the contemporary of whom he was the contemporary of buddha okay even ajata satru will meet buddha and because they were contemporaries with jainism as well jain or mahavira okay first this is Bind, uh, bimbisara a recent pick of uh, kalyanra in his movie okay son of bhatia according to buddhist council bimbisara ruled for 20, 52 years contemporary of See, this is this is the important thing you have to remember buddha and was to be admirer of mahavira means he was present when both buddha and mahavira mahavira were leaving that is contemporary had his capital at rajgriha you know significance of rajgriha it is the place where first buddhist council was conducted by ajata sitru okay that is the thing next next king is ajata sitru next son of bimbisara and chellana he killed his father and became ruler means he is a barbaric and embraced buddhism but joined he has embraced buddhism but he was a follower of ajivika okay remember this this is out of thing but remember this he convened the first buddhist council at rajgriha just after the death of buddha why why these buddhist councils were held you should be knowing their reason why they were held is because whatever things buddha was saying was oral then they need to be remembered but in in coming years where uh, all the people were able to, uh, will able to remember these things no right so they need to be uh, written on somewhere so for that to sh- to show the teachings of buddha these buddhist councils were held after his death right after his death the first person to do so was ajata sitru okay i will zoom it ajata sitru at rajgriha and mahakashyapa was the chair we have to remember all these things they will they, they may be asking you a lot of question from this thing okay they make they can ask the chronology of who was the patron who was the ruler then maybe asking where it was held year lot of the things okay what was the significance of first buddhist council the first buddhist council was where tripitakas where 
introduced means collection in that two pitakas one is sutta pitaka and next is dharma pitaka was abhidharma pitaka was prepared okay that is the significance of first uh, uh, first buddhist council next need of the council i have i have discovered discussed now next next what happens is when buddhan was a ruler of the haranyaka dynasty the shishunga who were the governors or feudatories whatever may be kill this buddhan and establishes shishunga shishunga naga dynasty okay this is the dynasty okay. in this shishunga was the one who founded the shishunga dynasty and important king was kala shoka who who keep the second buddhist council okay this is the importance of this shishunaga dynasty okay next see this is the thing of okay this is the thing i have discussed you may pause your video and if you have enthusiasm you can uh, read this thing but important one is this thing that is okay that is kala shoka okay first one is hadat situ kala shoka at vaishali this was the capital of shishunaga dynasty okay who was the chairman or president sabba kani okay remember this next after that even he was killed by nandas okay what is the significance of nanda while nandas were ruling alexander attacked the indian subcontinent through northwest boundaries of india okay that is the significance of nandas nandas see who has established this, this thing who murdered the last successor of shishunga and established this mahapadmanada okay he was the founder of nanda dynasty okay we will not be discussing about mahananda we will be going with dananda because at that place i mean alexander invited the northwest india during his rule but he could not proceed towards the gangetic plains because of his army refusal because there was a exaggeration that but dhyanananda nanda kingdom possessing these many things the soldiers of uh, alexander were tired and uh, even they were uh, frightened by knowing that nanda dynasty had these many equipments and the army okay they retreated back okay that is the thing after that alexander dies next here comes the mauryan empire so there were lot of disturbances in the nanda empire because on one side alexander was uh, invading okay even there was a disintegration among the feudatories governors so they were they were independing themselves so you must be knowing of chanakya or kautalya right is the king maker king maker of maurya with him chandragupta chandragupta okay who was was who was one among the uh, feudatories of nanda establish this mauryan empire this is the important thing because this is the turning point in india's history okay this is chanakya king maker who was the who was the author of ardha shastra even whatever the things which we use in administration or uh, economics are mostly uh, uh, are possessed from this ardha shastra this is what you have to remember this ardha shastra so it's a great book okay kautalya uh, provided the strategy while chandragupta executed it they had raised a machinery army of their own okay then they moved towards eastward into magadha in a series of battle he defeated dhananda means last ruler of nanda dynasty and laid foundation of mauryan empire this is what you have to remember okay even there is a thing we have to remember this thing he entered into a treaty with celsus nicator in which i have already told see when uh, 
Alexander came near north west uh, came into north west he left his governor that is silsis nicotor near balchistan okay there was a treaty and he said that we will be not uh, entering these things and these areas and there was a treaty among them even silsis nicotor married daughter married chandragupta that is the thing silsis nicotor got 500 Elephant Celsius Nicotor avoided full scale war with the mighty Chandragupta and returned got war assets that would lead into victory against the Battle of Ipsus. Okay, that is the thing. Even this uh, Greek uh, governor sent Megasthenes to his Chandragupta. Even Megasthenes, uh, there is a great book that is Indica. You have to remember. He was the Greek ambassador at Chandragupta. After uh, after ruling for so many years, Chandragupta will convert into Jainism, okay. Jainism by following the Badra Bahu. Okay, remember this thing. This was the Magadha. Slowly, slowly, it spread to this here. And after this, this is Bindusara, and after that, the one who we talk most that is. Ashoka. This is in history only there were two persons who have occupied this much in Indian subcontinent. One is Ashoka, another another one is Aurangzeb. Okay, even he has this much huge territory. Okay, there were only two person. One is Ashoka and Aurangzeb. Even after uh, both these uh, persons' death, their kingdom started to. Disintegrate. That is the significance. Other significance. Okay. Next is Bindusara. I have already told. This is the thing. Son of Bindusara is Ashoka, whom we need to talk about. See, Ashoka. The war of succession. That uh, there is a myth that uh, uh, there is a story that uh, Ashoka has uh, killed ninety nine brothers and uh, ascended the throne. Okay. he became the king he was said to be the bad temper and ruthless and very cruel he has built you know you must be knowing that uh, he has attacked and uh, he has witnessed the death of around 1 uh, 1 million people right after that he has uh, seeing to sorrows and uh, bloodshed he converted into buddhism see these were the things he has erected after He is announced in warfare, and he was he has uh, erected a lot of uh, edicts, uh, inscriptions on which he has uh, proclaimed these what uh, Dhamma. Okay, he sent a lot of uh, missionaries to a lot of things. I mean, he has sent uh, his uh, children to what Sri Lanka for spreading uh, Buddhism. A lot of these things happen. Under this is another significant thing that is Third Buddhist Council. Happened under Ashoka. This is what you have. The first one is Adasitru. Next is Kalakshoka. The other one is Ashoka. And that is what happened. Next, see, in a, the, even a, contemporarily with the Mauryan Empire, there was another kingdom which Ashoka every time tells him about in his inscription. That is this southern India, where three prominent kingdoms were present. Which were the? Let me show this. This is the thing. See, if you zoom into this thing, see. I will. See, I will look. That see, that here there are Cholas, Cholas, Pandyas, and Cheras. Okay, remember this thing. This was a period of Sangha. Okay, that is the thing you have to remember. while reading sangha period you can uh, know which were the which are the prominent uh, ports in their uh, so in so kingdom chola pandya and chera that is important okay decline of maurya so we, uh, what uh, whenever there is a decline of any kingdom what will happen this whole cake will be divided into small small pieces right even that happened the establishment of satavahanas and few foreign invasion take place that is uh, greeks 
even uh, the kingdom which was present i mean the court uh, mauryan empire was broken into broken by sunga dynasty okay sunga dynasty so this is how uh, mauryan empire got disintegrated see what did they say sunga dynasty sunga dynasty satavahanas already there were presence of this tamilians and the inflow of who greeks okay that is what happened after the death of means after the disintegration of mauryans see this is the mauryan kingdom okay after that what did happen satavahanas came into existence here sunga's came even foreign invasion happened that is kushans okay this is what you have to remember next this is the history For, what did i say first was satavahana these were bactrian invasion that is greeks with them they came the shakas parthians and kushans okay these were these were the kingdoms which have been established after the disintegration of maurya okay in these three invasion three foreign invasion the most prominent one was kushans kushans or kanishka you must have heard his name right kanishka even he held the fourth buddhist council in which buddhist buddhism will divide into mahayana and hinayana okay this is the important next we will go into satavahana we will learn about satavahana this is this is the story how mauryan empire collapsed see mauryan empire collapsed about uh, 2000 years ago in the space several kingdoms in the northwest and in the parts of north india kings known as indo greeks ruled for about one uh, 100 years they were followed by central asian known as shakas who set up kingdoms in the northwest west and india some of the kingdoms lasted for 500 years till the shakas were defeated by the guptas okay that is the story today we are going to learn till sakas even i will be pasting this uh, whole uh, ppt in my description box if you want you can download so what did i say after mauryan sunga came and on other hand satavahana and foreign invasion next satavahana you must be knowing this person right gautam putra satkarni right let us know about this satavahana Chatavana rule is believed to come to existence between 1 century BC and 3rd century okay they were referred as andhra in the puranas the satavahanas kingdom chiefly comprised andhra pradesh telangana maharashtra you have already seen that picture right where was the kingdom of satavahanas even they were the patrons of ajanta ke okay remember that patrons means they have only committed for two caves okay remaining were patronized by guptas and vatakas okay that is the thing shimuki was the founder of satavahana who was the most uh, greatest king of this satavahana was gautam putri satkarni okay see this is the this is our gautam putra satkarni he is considered the greatest king of satavahana he defeated the greeks pallavas and shaka his kingdom ran from krishna in the south to malwa and so and see he defeated nahapana important king of western shaps and you should be knowing about one important thing that what is that they have started the practice of granting tax free villages to the brahmanas okay they were the first even they were brahmanas to proclaim their authority to the throne they have given lot of grants to these brahmanas so that they can get good names okay next see remember this thing there is a beauty of about this satavahana they were matrilinear okay his mother was the ba- gautam putra balasti and his name what gautam see whoever the ruler is in that ruler that ruler will be getting his name from his mother that is what you have to remember that is the reason i have kept this picture her name is gautami that's the reason he got gautam putra satkarni and he is succeeded by his 
संत विशिष्ट पुत्र श्री फुलामी सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सदर्न इंडिया सो वी विल बी डीलिंग अबाउट नॉर्थ इन इंडिया क्वेश्चंस ऑलरेडी हैव टोल्ड हाउ दिस फ्लो हैज हैपेंड सपोज दिस इज इंडिया दिस इज इंडियन सबकॉन्टिनेंट ओके this was ruled by satavahanas and there was a flow of foreigns first were greeks okay another one was after few years kushan came into indian and they have assimilated the indian culture and turned into pure hindu okay the we will be knowing about kanishka because he is the important one okay Kanishka of Kushan dynasty considered the greatest Kushan king and also a greatest great king of ancient India. Okay, that is the thing. There is nothing more important here. The another important one is Fourth Buddhist Council, in which this is important because Buddhism got divided into two things. One is Mahayana and Hinayana. Here, the only the teachings of Buddha is Thought. Okay, that is what they remember. Here, even the idols, idols of Buddha were worshipped. That is the difference. Major difference is this. Even here, Bodhi Sattvas are preached. Who are Bodhi Sattvas? Who Bodhi Sattvas are person who were quite near to reach the Nirvana, but they stopped here before the attainment and started to help others. other persons welfare of others to re, to enlighten them those people are called bodhisattvas even these people are worshiped by mahayana buddhist but these were traditional buddhist who only believed in buddhist teachings okay he they did not see buddha as a god but only a person here they saw buddha as a god that is a major difference this was conducted under kanishka okay remember that thing after this there will be a beginning of vaishyas that is gupta dynasty that is very important because gupta period is known as the golden period for art right art medicine whatever thing whatever things you hear aryabhatta charaka all these present i don't know how these people are present in this all the scientists writers poets all are present in buddhist sorry gupta period okay you have to that, that's the reason to make that big i have stop i am stopping here okay we will be continuing with gupta next i hope you like this video if you like this video like it and subscribe to your fellow aspirants even i will be placing uh, this ppt in this uh, description box please download it if you want okay thank you